Hi students, it's a brand new day and today I'm going to take up with you a brand new topic that is sentences. Sentences are a very important aspect of English grammar. This is because they form the foundation of the language. Without the correct knowledge of sentences, it is impossible to communicate because they define what you say, what you write and what you mean. By definition, sentences are groups of words being brought together to create meaning. Understand that meaning is at the center of the sentence. Without a meaning, the sentence does not exist. That is why any random group of words being brought together cannot be known as a sentence. Because for it to be a sentence, there has to be a set structure. That is, subject plus verb plus object. The subject is the person, place or thing about which the entire sentence is talking. That is to say, the entire sentence has to be about the subject. The verb. The verb also known as the action word is the action that is done by the subject in the sentence. And an object is the thing or the place through which the action takes place in a sentence. Let us understand this through an example. Let us look at this particular sentence. Ram plays with the ball. In this case, Ram is the subject because the entire sentence is about Ram. Plays is the action, that is why it is the verb. And with a ball, ball is the object because the action in this case is taking place because of the ball. So, subject plus verb plus object. This is a common structure that every sentence in the English language follows. However, sentences are not of only one kind. Based on their usage, there are four broad categories of sentences. Let us go over these categories to aid our understanding. The first type of sentence then is known as the declarative sentence. The declarative sentence is a sentence that states a fact, a universal truth that cannot be changed and is fairly permanent. For instance, the sun rises in the east. This is a fact, something that cannot be changed. The earth is round. This also is a universal truth, fairly permanent. These sentences end in full stops. The next type of sentence is the interrogative sentence or sentences that ask questions. These sentences begin with question words. I'm sure you must be aware of the concept of five W's and one H. Who, what, where, when, why, how. Sentences that begin with these question words are known as interrogative sentences. These sentences end with a question mark. For example, where are you going? What are you eating? When are you coming back? These are interrogative sentences. Let us go on to the third type, imperative sentences. Imperative sentences are sentences that give commands and orders. For example, give me a glass of water. Go out of the class. Do not talk in the class. These are commands and they end in full stops. Let us go on then to the last and final type of the sentence. That is exclamatory sentence. Exclamatory sentences are used to express an emotion of surprise, a sudden feeling. For example, oh my god, that is amazing. Lovely, that is great. These are expressions when they are put in a sentence, they make exclamatory sentences and they end in exclamatory marks. 
these are the major four categories of sentences apart from this there are also two subcategories of sentences based on the kind of message that the sentence conveys that is there are positive sentences and there are negative sentences positive sentences are sentences that talk about actions that did take place successfully something that did happen for example i am sleeping i am going to school i am studying i will eat these are positive sentences that talk about actions that have positive outcomes the second type of sentence is the negative sentence the negative sentence talks about the actions that did not go well something that did not happen for example i did not go to school i did not have dinner i have no friends these are sentences that are negative sentences the only difference between a positive sentence and a negative sentence is that a negative sentence includes words like no and not that is why whenever you see such sentences you will be able to identify them just by looking at them this is only an introductory talk on the topic of sentences i hope this has opened a new grammatical window for you and introduced you to a yet another new and exciting topic thank you for listening students i hope you've understood i hope you will apply this well have a great day ahead thank you so much students